Mary Donaldson issued an ultimatum to Queen Margaret, laying out terms not to divorce Frederick after pictures with Genevieve Casanova. Now we find out what the phrase was that the images of Federico de Denmark with Genevieve Casanova in Madrid would stir the waters was obvious from the start. It's not often you see the heir to the throne walking around unaccompanied and spending the night at a friend's house in a foreign city. What could not have been foreseen was that these photos, exclusively published by Lecturer's magazine, were going to shake the very foundations of the Danish royal house. But it did. Last Sunday, December 31st, Queen Margaret announced in her traditional Christmas speech that on January 14th she would abdicate in favor of her firstborn son, and his wife Mary Donaldson, 51, will become Queen Consort. A decision that surprised everyone, since few people knew. In fact, Meta Frederiksen, the Danish Prime Minister, had to change her speech, which followed that of the monarch, upon hearing this wonderful news. As the days passed, we were able to learn more about this radical decision, from the clues that had already pointed to it to the reasons why. However, thanks to Luis Pliego, director of Lecturer's magazine, we were able to find out what was the trigger that prompted the monarch to give up her throne. In fact, Mary herself asked for the abdication, Pliego said in front of the staff of Tard AR. It was then that he discovered the exact words spoken by the princess, either we are now kings or it's over. Faced with the disbelief of his comrades, Luis repeated these words with a variation of what Maria would have said either we are kings or I go to Australia, the consequences of the ultimatum, a historical milestone. This phrase is indicative of many things. Firstly, the whole controversy over her husband's pictures with a Mexican model had a very strong impact on Mary. Even though the princess continued to fulfill her institutional obligations and showed no signs of weakness in public, she felt all the tension and attention that this scandal caused her. The ultimatum also clarifies the relationship between Mary and the Queen, as at the worst moment of her marriage, the Australian turned to her mother-in-law to help her deal with the situation. And at the same time, the monarch showed great concern for her daughter-in-law's condition by giving in to her request and also wanting to avoid a major disagreement should they divorce. Of course, if this ultimatum accomplished anything, it was that Mary Donaldson would make history by becoming the first Australian queen of the world. A historical fact that follows her mother-in-law as Queen Margaret was the first independent monarch of Denmark. She was able to rule the country due to a change in the law after two referendums that allowed women to rule the country. Queen Margaret of Denmark plans to abdicate in favor of her son Frederick. Although it came as a surprise to Danish citizens to hear their queen announce that she would abdicate in just a few weeks, her plans to leave the throne have been hovering in the social sphere for months. Apparently, the monarch had been mulling over the idea of giving way to her son for some time now. The main reason was health problems that have not stopped affecting his role as an institutional figure. In fact, since her back surgery, she has been appearing less and less frequently at events and functions, which is very strange as she is a very real and visible queen to the people of Denmark. Despite this, plans were still brewing and the idea was getting used to. And Margaret repeated more than once that her responsibility as queen is for life. However, in all these plans, a stumbling block appeared, photographs of Federico with Genevieve Casanova. Once again, Luis Pliego revealed this to Tard AR a few weeks ago. This week I spoke to many Danish journalists. They repeated the latest cover story, he explained. This scandal and speculation about the relationship between the heir and the model put everything in its proper place. He was preparing Marguerite's abdication to take the throne, but it all stopped him, Lewis said. Of course, her reaction not to make things worse was key, the queen had her son's back completely. At the same time as the news broke, the royal family issued an equidistant statement to clarify their position. It has been our policy for many years not to comment or confirm any details regarding private matters. In addition, we would like to emphasize our commitment to respecting the privacy of members of the royal family, including the crown prince, it read. Read. In addition, he denied the press access to the annual royal hunt in the Gribscovy forests or the swearing-in of the Constitution of Christian, son of Frederick and Maria, on his 18th birthday.